This episode is brought to you by Saycon, which is on my list of apps with the most potential for game-changing savings. Talk to your organization's mobility manager and they'll tell you the nightmare of managing multiple carriers per country, each with their own offerings, contracts, and integrations. Saycon abstracts and manages this for you, eliminating the swivel chair mobility management work and giving you asset and configuration data you can trust. Saycon is mobility managed. Check the description below. Hey everyone, welcome back to another ServiceNow Toolbox. My name is Robert Fedoric. It is so good to have you here. Now you've already seen me demonstrate how you can replace inbound email actions completely with Flow Designer. Check up here for a link to that video. Now there was a time where I thought maybe you could do the same thing with scheduled jobs as well, but reality is a little bit more complicated than I thought. So let's put scheduled jobs and Flow Designer in the ring together for some more combat. Round one. Scheduling when? Fight! How do Flow Designer and Scheduled Jobs compare when determining when to run? Scheduled Jobs can run daily, weekly, monthly, periodically, once, and on demand. Flow Designer can run daily, weekly, monthly, once, and repeatedly, with repeatedly having the same interface as periodically from the Scheduled Jobs. But before we say they're the same, Scheduled Job allows you to pick a specific time zone and Flow Designer does not. Advantage, Scheduled Jobs. Scheduled Job also has the scripted condition, which adds a ton of nuance for deciding when you want this thing to run. Sure, you can argue that you can wrap your Flow Designer in a giant if statement, but even then you're using Condition Builder and not a raw script. Handy, but not as much nuance. Since you get the time zone option and the scripted condition, when it comes to scheduling, Scheduled Jobs wins. Round two. Scheduling reports. Fight. Scheduled jobs has its own dedicated interface when you want to schedule a report. It asks for things like the users and groups you want to receive it, the subject line, whether or not you want to zip the file contents, and many other parts of information we'd expect when we're trying to email something to someone. Flow Designer does not. Since Flow Designer has no answer for Scheduled Job in this round, Scheduled Jobs wins. Round three. Scheduling the creation of a record. Fight. Scheduled Jobs can be configured to create a record, and one of the added benefits is that you can use a template in this creation. Flow Designer does not have this ability. Doesn't mean it can't come close though. You can always use the Create Record Flow action and fill in the, field, the fields manually that you would have done with a template. Now what I like about Flow Designer is that it can create any type of record, not just those that you've built templates for. And you have more nuance about how you populate those fields since you can drag information from any of the other Flow Designer activities. And you could do this without being a pro code developer. Another advantage for Flow Designer is that you can update records instead of create them or even delete them. Since Flow Designer can create any type of record and at least simulate the template functionality and update or delete records to boot, when it comes to scheduled record creation, Flow Designer wins round four. Scheduled scripting. Fight! Now I'd say scheduled scripting is the biggest use case for scheduled jobs. As we'd expect, scheduled jobs has a scripting interface. But what does Flow Designer give you access to? Everything! And the glorious part is you don't need to be a pro code developer in order to build cool flows on a scheduled basis. Now you might be arguing, yeah, but if I need pro code development, then isn't it better that I have the script interface on scheduled jobs? But the thing is, you can create custom actions that execute script in Flow Designer. You apply the same pro code benefits except now the action is reusable. So when it comes to scheduled scripting, Flow Designer wins by a long shot. Round five. Error handling. Fight. With scheduled jobs, you're gonna have to rely on traditional script-based troubleshooting techniques, such as log statements, info warn error messages, as well as log points in order to figure out what's going on in the script. However, Flow Designer has a couple of unique advantages here. The first is the error handling option, which allows you to take actions if the flow itself fails. As of San Diego, you also have the try flow logic, 
With TriFlow logic, you have a path that you wish to execute and an alternative path if that top path doesn't execute and it continues running the flow afterwards. This is super beneficial because in scheduled jobs, if that script fails, the whole thing fails. And if I don't have log statements, I don't know why it failed. With Flow Designer, I can execute a whole different flow if the first part of the flow doesn't work. On top of that, with the test function and being able to see all this stuff at runtime, it's just a more exquisite interface for figuring out if this thing is gonna work at all before I even publish it. So when it comes to error handling, Flow Designer wins by a long shot. Round six. Integration. Fight. Now, it's no secret that the future is gonna be more integrated. In the past, we'd have to build all the integration components throughout the different modules in ServiceNow and then call them via script in our scheduled job. Flow Designer, on the other hand, has distinct advantages due to Integration Hub. Integration Hub has a large and growing library of integrations that you can simply drag and drop onto the flow, so you don't necessarily have to be a pro code developer in order to utilize them. They don't need to know how the sausages are made in the sausage factory. This makes your building of flows more accessible to a wider range of users. Plus, because of those failover capabilities we saw in round five with the try flow logic, that means when it comes to integrations, Flow Designer wins. Now let's take it to the judges scorecards. So we see if you need to schedule a report, scheduled jobs is still the dominant feature. When it comes to scheduling, scheduled jobs has a slight advantage with the use of that scripted condition and the time zone picker. But in all other areas, Flow Designer completely dominates, which is why Flow Designer is where I go first if I need to do something on a scheduled basis. Hope this provided you with some wisdom, and remember, I'm still willing to pay for help in generating content for this playlist. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one. If you're a ServiceNow expert looking for better opportunities, but maybe your resume or LinkedIn profile isn't doing you justice, reach out to me via LinkedIn or the email pictured here as I offer both career coaching and recruitment services. And if you're a ServiceNow customer or partner, you heard that right. Robert Fedoric now does ServiceNow recruiting. With a 1,500 subscriber YouTube channel and mailing list and thousands of LinkedIn followers, let's make sure your open positions get first go at the prodigious pool of ServiceNow resources. Reach out via the email picture here.